astronomy, more revelations from cosmologist astronomer Brian Cox. He says the universe is unstable and he reveals how it could end at any moment. The end of the world could happen any moment according to his chilling claims. He reveals it's unstable. Physicists have come up with a number of theories explaining the way the universe could end, including the Big Rip, the heat death, the Big Crunch, but now there's another to add to that big list. It's called Vacuum Decay, the Higgs field of energy that permeates our universe varies in strength based on potential. It's either one of two states, a true vacuum or a false vacuum. A true vacuum is a stable, lowest energy state, while the false vacuum suggests the universe is somewhat, but not entirely stable, known to scientists as metastable. The problem is a universe that is sitting in the false vacuum could, via random quantum fluctuation, suddenly find parts of itself swallowed by another true vacuum universe spelling disaster. Now, if this is all Chinese to you, yeah, it is to me as well. I have no idea what they're talking about. But Professor Brian Cox explains, he understands, and this is what he's trying to say to us, life of the universe, how this could apply to life on Earth. This is what he said in 2017. What if inflation does not stop all at once, but just in patches? Our Big Bang would just be a little event in an ever-inflating space. There would be other patches stopping and starting, and you get another universe, and that process could go on forever. This is what he says. He says, so although our universe dies, another other universes are constantly being created. This is called the inflationary multiverse. Professor Cox explains how an experiment in 2012 suggested that the universe may be in a false vacuum. He said physicists refer to each different possibility as a different vacuum. This opens up the chance that we could be instantly annihilated. The Large Hadron Collider at CERN on the French Swiss border is the largest scientific machine in the world. In 2012, the Higgs boson was discovered there, but its property suggests that our universe could be in an unstable false vacuum state. Astrophysicist Dr. Katie Mack told Professor Cox that the grim ending is a real possibility. She said, my favorite way to destroy the universe is a vacuum decay, which is a really fun idea and one that's become really popular lately because of things we're seeing in the Large Hadron Collider. There's some true vacuum somewhere and we could tunnel into it and at any moment destroy life. Now, Professor Cox confirmed it would be a long way in the future before something like this happened. He said, the time scale for vacuum decay is many times the age of our universe, so it's not going to happen tomorrow, but it's still disconcerting to think that our universe is not the stable, eternal home we once believed it to be. He says, you may think quantum mechanics could save us. Could there be a little fluctuation that allows something to happen and reboot part of or all of the universe? You never know, but probably not. Whether it's vacuum decay, the big rip, or a sad, slow heat death, now is a time to explore our universe while it's still visible to us, he says. Well, what can you do? I believe that scientists have a really weird sense of humor. If they think this is a fun thing, this is by Callum Hoare on Express UK. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. 
and we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece, in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.